Have you eaten soup spiced with locust bean cake before? If your answer is no, then you're denying yourself a whole lot. The locust bean cake is one spice that had for centuries made women to be top of the art of cooking. The advent of modern cooking spices have however relegated locust bean cake, or the dawa as it's commonly called in the north, to the background. But this community in Jogana have continued to not only produce and use the dawa, but also sell to interested people from across the state and beyond. Baba Salamatu is a 62-year-old trader that has been in the business of selling locust bean cake for more than 20 years. I eat and drink from it and provide for my family and even relatives. This market, which holds daily, has Wednesdays and Saturdays as special days that attract customers from far and near. Jogana market leader Abdullah Hibayeru says for more than 20 years, the market has attracted people from Guru Gashua in Yobi, Babura in Jigawa, and as far as Niger Republic, the star product he disclosed is the locust bean cake. This market came into existence because of locust bean cake sellers. People come to buy large quantities. This does not come to many as a surprise because locust bean cake, which is known as Iru in Yoruba or Giriokbe in Igbo, is one spice that had and still remains popular in all rural communities across Nigeria. As the name implies, the dawa is made from locust bean. It passes through several processes before finally being ready for use. The products now on display are made from either a mixture of soya beans and locust beans or from locust beans only, which is more expensive. I prefer the one that is not mixed. It is better. The one made out of locust beans cake is sweeter in soup. Part of the locust beans is sweeter because it's not mixed. As for Baba Salamatu, whose source of livelihood has been on locust bean cake, whichever the people want will be available as she and the other women at this market gear up to continue to hold on to the past for the future to be better. In Kanu, Elizabeth Dilalamilo, NTA News.